Imagine relaxing at home, maybe watching TV or cooking dinner, when suddenly a cannonball crashes through your front door, bounces upstairs, and smashes into your car. Sounds like a historical battle? Nope. This happened in California in 2011, and the culprits, not the military, but the Mythbusters. Let's rewind. The Mythbusters were filming at the Alameda County Sheriff's Bomb Range in Dublin, California, a controlled space where they'd safely tested explosives and ballistics for years. That day, they were testing how various materials could stop a cannonball. Everything seemed normal until they fired the cannon. Instead of hitting the target barrels, the cannonball bounced off the ground, ricocheted off a hill, and launched itself into the suburbs. This wasn't a small object. It was a 6-inch, 30-pound solid iron ball. It flew over 700 yards, more than seven football fields. And what did it hit? It smashed through a home's front door, blasted through walls, ricocheted upstairs, flew out the back wall, and finally landed inside a parked minivan. Incredible damage. But somehow, no one was injured. The Mythbusters team immediately halted filming. They visited the homeowners, apologized, and made arrangements to cover all damages. Local law enforcement also stepped in and safety protocols were reviewed. It became national news, a perfect storm of scientific curiosity, miscalculation, and one absurdly determined cannonball. This wasn't just a TV stunt gone wrong. It was a real-world reminder of how unpredictable physics can be when massive force meets the unexpected. The Mythbusters always pushed boundaries in the name of science, but this time, science pushed back. And somewhere in California, a cannonball-sized hole in the wall became part of TV legend. If you enjoyed this wild story from science history, hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment. What would you do if a cannonball hit your house? Stay curious, and maybe keep an eye on the sky. Want your own fascinating videos? Click the link in the description to get started today.